you want to start, Michael? Sure. Sure, why not? I mean, it literally looked like toilet paper caught in a windstorm. This truly looks like a shower loofah ruched <laughs> up the front of it. It's like a Mexican serape gay flag. She just looked like rigatoni Mad Max. Home de Garcon goes to the Amish country. It's like full, like 80s kind of mood glare, addicted to love. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's take something that already you feel dowdy in. Let's make it feel even more matronly. It's like the length from hell. She's Holly. Hobby. Where do I start? You basically took a checklist of everything that can turn tacky. Shiny, short, tight, the mini skirt, the harness, the puff sleeves. MC Hammer meets vampire pregnant witch. Big bowl of sawdust. Feathered asses. Bridesmaids under the sea. Barefoot Appalachian little Abner Barbie. <sighs> Tin Man, Hershey Kiss, Ballerina, Hershey. Garbage, Newspaper. Oh, she's a hooker or a grandmother. <laughs> Ugly Aztec cake. Crazy Disco Turkey. Ruffled Shrug in Vinyl. Busy and Tacky. A felt gown. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like a cardboard box. I'm oh, Real 80s bitchy, kind of like Knott's Landing. I mean, hello. Slutty, slutty, slutty. It looks like Tina Turner's dress rode up a bit. You had to put the shark's teeth on her sleeves? Is that supposed to tell me, oh, she's a shark? Oh, God, look at that. Your husband helps you back into your straight jacket. <laughs> oh. If you want guys to leave you alone in the gym, wear that look. No one's talking to you. Side cleavage is a rare, thrilling moment. Like, oh, sign me up. I want something that's going to look like my waist fell. <laughs> From top to toe, it's a mess. No. There's nothing right about this dress. The only possible accessory that she could use with this is a wand. It might have been nice if the blouse did not look like the back was eaten. Well, yes. Maybe the model's too thin and she just ate her outfit. I don't know. <laughs> You're a mess just standing. So, I mean, traveling, you're gonna just be like a homeless person. We have crazy crotch. Um, I think they might fit you better. <laughs> that perhaps a gentleman might have something to fill the trouser out. Pleasure me pockets. You pooped in your pants. <laughs> the, she looks like her ass is in her front. The crotch is just every woman's nightmare. The shorts are big and tight at the same time. Not a lot of women want to have canceled on their <laughs> crotch. Every girl is going to want those plaid pants that make her ass look that long. Let's be honest, it did look like she had an old diaper pushed in between her leg. A jockstrap pant. It's wacky. You achieved the impossible. She has camel toe in big shorts. <gasps> oh. She looks like a transvestite flamenco dancer at her funeral. I mean, she just does. It's like a metallic hefty bag just cinched. She looks like a disco soccer ball. <laughs> Unless you are going to a Joan Crawford St. Patty's Day party. <laughs> I mean, who is wearing this blouse? She looks like she's a barmaid serving her hair. Her activity looks like she's going to a buffet on a cruise. She's a pole dancer in Dubai. Hello. I mean, she's got all the curtains from Tara ripped off the wall and put into the one dress. That many straps plus a bra strap? It looks like she's got the biggest boobs in history, and she's wearing seven bras. She's wearing like a Flintstone disco pouch. Do I think it's pretty? No. She's kind of like voodoo princess in hell. Did you really think they went together? They don't. Tight satin? No human being should wear tight satin. Let me see that. It's crepe de chine. Oh, it's poly, no, oh, hello. Is it polyester? It is. It's Polly Crepe de Chine. I mean, she's got an avocado goiter. I don't know. She's from the Republic of Cocktail Land. She looks like a Victorian cocktail waitress in Las Vegas. Something a Teletubby would wear to a party. Oh, my God. The art teacher's on an acid trip. You know, Betty White on Dancing with the Stars. It's like a Brady Bunch dashiki. It's like reggae Jesus. A Halloween tablecloth? I think she looks like a stewardess. And I'm waiting for her to give me a coffee. Wings over her boobs plus then the jeweled boobs, plus then the jewels under the boobs. And then, of course, she's got, you know, a flower pot growing out of her head. It's kind of like a sad chicken. Here she is pooping fabric. 
It's kind of like Doris Day playing a postal worker. I think her hair is gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? Well, that's about all that I think looks gorgeous. To me, it looks like an appetite suppressant. I went to a dinner party, I can't lift my hand. I mean, it's... <laughs> Men's trousers with no pockets at all? Yeah. Anywhere? Mm. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a legging that Friar Tuck would wear. Yeah. Like, that could be his drag name, Origami Rose. The pants are signature Angela. She knows how to make clothes. Whether she has any taste or talent, that I don't know. Taste is something that you just can't learn.